What is going on YouTube? It's Rashad from 212 Exotics. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my FB40 bill and the first clutch of 2020 at 212 Exotics. Let's go. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. First, I wanna give a huge shout out to Reggie at Reggie's Urban Jungle. As you can see, I'm rocking the gear. Reggie, I appreciate the t-shirt. Um, if you guys do not know who Reggie is, Reggie's Urban Jungle on YouTube, Reggie's Urban Jungle on Instagram and Facebook. He is a really cool down to earth dude and he just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So go follow Reggie's Urban Jungle. Um, again, Reggie, I appreciate the shirt. Um, he also sent with the shirt some clutch cards. So um, I'll definitely be uh, using these clutch cards, business cards. So uh, Reggie, I definitely appreciate you for that. Um, so in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the FB40 bill and I'm going to be talking about my first clutch of 2020. So the FB40 bill is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time uh, just because I wanted to build something. I have uh, never built anything from scratch in my life. Uh, so everything I've built has had instructions to it. Um, so this was a really cool, neat project for me to do. Um, I couldn't build it out of the things that I wanted to build it out of. So, um, I did build it out of melamine, which is cool. Um, I used, uh, heat tape from TGR, which you guys know has gone out of business. So I ordered it just in time. And of course I got my freedom breeder tubs from freedom breeder. So what I did was create a time lapse just so you guys can see how I created my new FB 40 rack. So check it out. guys so just to give you a quick look of the fb40 rack here it is and i already have it full with my females um in this rack i have my pastel lesser head clown who actually just ovulated so here's a picture right here and then here is my Pastel Mojave, who hopefully ovulates soon. I'm really looking to, uh, I'm, well, I'm sorry, I'm really hoping she goes for me this year. And then you have my uh, Mojave Bee or Pastel Mojave Spider or Bumblebee Mojave, whatever you want to call it. She actually ovulated too, so here's a picture of that right here. And at the bottom down here, I'm sorry, and right here, this is my pod girl who is currently being bred right now to my pastel clown. And down here is my black pastel girl who just laid her clutch. So this is my FB40 rack, y'all. All right, so now let's talk about what I am most excited about in this video, which is my first clutch of 2020. It is my black pastel, which was bred to my banana GHI. So just so you guys can see, I'll drop some pictures here. This is her laying on her eggs. And then here, this is a picture of her eggs getting ready to go in the incubator. As you can see, she had seven eggs, five good ones and two slugs. Not so bad for a first time mom, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now, I'm just waiting on pre-lay sheds for my Pastel Lesser Head Clown and my uh, Mojave Bee or my bumblebee mojave or my pastel mojave spider however you want to put it um just waiting on those prelay sheds so i can begin to count down for those eggs and hopefully those are some nice size clutches too 
And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Um, in the future, I want to do another bill, probably a FB10 rack because I do like the FB10 tubs and it'll be a good uh, mail tub for my grow out males um, and some grow out females until they transition into bigger tubs. So uh, look for that. I know that I will build that out of PVC and not melamine for sure because <laughs> Melamine is heavy as hell, so I will not be building another rack out of melamine. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you comment. Uh, I will link my Facebook below, Instagram. You can find me at 212 Exotics. And again, shout out to Reggie's Urban Jungle for this t-shirt. I appreciate it, everybody. See you next time. Peace. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to add before my wife kills me. She was right about the number of eggs that my black pastel girl was gonna lay. She did say that she was gonna lay five good eggs and two slugs. Um, so obviously her words mean a lot around here and obviously she don't ever need to say I'll have slugs again because, well, never mind. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>